Hi there, it's Susie Iverson, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and today I'm going to show you a little trick in Photoshop to help you keep some of your layers together. So when you're moving around them around, they all move as one or so you don't accidentally move one of the pieces once you get it lined up the way you wanted it. So first gonna show you how I use this with photos. Um, so I've got this shape layer that I've got a picture clip to so it matches the shape of that rectangle and then I've got a levels adjustment layer and a gradient layer and if I go to move the page at all and just click it's just going to grab one of the layers and move it but not move everything else with it which is not what I want so what I'm going to do is click on the bottom layer then hold shift and click on the topmost layer so I select everything in between plus the two layers that I want and then there's this little chain link icon it links those layers together so you just click on that you'll see a little chain on each layer so now when I choose to click on it everything moves together as one the other time I use this is on um, titles for example on this page I've gotten all the letters the way I want them and I don't want to accidentally while trying to grab something else, grab one and move it somewhere else. So if you click on the letter and then hold shift and click on everything else you want included, it will find all of those layers in your layers palette, no matter where they're at, because sometimes my stuff gets mixed up. Um, and then you would just click on the link layers icon, and now those layers are linked. So if I grab the eye, the whole group moves. Then I'll come over here and I'll grab all the letters for double again by clicking on one then holding shift and clicking on all the other letters that I want included in that and then hitting the link layers icon and I'll repeat that one more time for the rest of the title and I click then hold shift click on all the other letters and then hit the link layers icon so now whenever I grab those, or so in case I'm trying to just grab the string and I accidentally grab the letter, I'll notice right away and can hit Control z to undo that move. I hope you found this tip helpful. If you have any questions, you can email me, suzyqscraps at gmail.com, and you can visit my website for more tutorials, suzyqscraps.com. Thanks.